In this demo, we will show how to bootstrap a Spring Boot project using Spring Starter Project in Spring Tool Suite. This time, just to show you another flavor of an application, we will create a simple console app. So let's get right to it. To start the project, let's go to File, New, Other, scroll down to Spring Boot and then to Spring Starter Project. Click Next. And here you see the same options to choose the build type, Maven or Gradle, packaging, jar or war, Java version, and language. You can specify the group artifact and version, description, just as you would do on the website. Click Next. And here you can choose the Spring Boot version, search for dependencies, or Scroll down and expand and choose the dependency you want. Click Next and here, behind the scenes, it is integrated with Spring Initializer to generate our project. Click Finish. It has the same familiar structure in the pom.xml file. We have the starter parent. It brings in Spring Boot Starter and Starter Test to simplify our build configuration. Let's go to the main class. Let our class implement command line runner, import it, add unimplemented methods. The command line runner interface has a run method. Spring Boot will automatically call the run method of all beans implementing this interface after the application context has been loaded. You can have multiple command line runner beans in the same application context and these can be ordered using the ordered interface or the add order annotation. So inside here, let us put a system out, hello from console, and let us print the arguments also. Let's run this app from the boot dashboard. And here in the console, we see the output. The first argument is supplied by Spring Boot. Let's right click the application, choose run as, then run configuration, add a couple of arguments, click run, and in the console, we see the three arguments being printed, the first one being supplied by Spring Boot. Let's package our application as a jar by right clicking, choosing run as maven build, put the goal as package, click run. It creates a jar for us in the target folder. Let us open the terminal, go to the folder and type java hyphen jar, our jar name, add a couple of arguments, args1, args2, and here we see it prints them to the console. So this is how easy it is to bootstrap our app using Spring Tool Suite, which allows us to do everything from our IDE. And this is the method I prefer. Let's also quickly look at the third way of bootstrapping a Spring Boot project using Spring Boot command line interface. 